Today we were test driving the 2018 Dodge Journey. And tell it, talk about the push button start and push button start and the it has a slap shift so that I can change gears automatic or manually shift. So uh, the push button start in this car is really handy to because um, because when you have the key in your pot and when you have the key in your pocket you don't have to um, you don't have to unlock the car like you're using a house key and you just have to push a button and then the car automatically starts and this is the slap shift and when you shift uh, when you park the car you have to uh, it kind of looks the hand looks like a jigsaw puzzle when you do it a very incomplete jigsaw puzzle you can shift gears by pressing the shifter in this direction so just when we're gonna stop this we're gonna stop this car in the empty parking lot so you can film um we're gonna when when we're driving i'm gonna do the apartment here um so there's a there's a com there's a center console over here there's not lots of room in the center console this is a car lot this is a storage tray there's not lots of space in the cups and console, and we have this shifter over here, and shifter over here. Dodge uh, aren't very reliable, and they're reliable in most uh, lemon cars, which are cars you buy, and you basically gamble when you buy the car because um, be because it's just a waste of money, and it ended up getting totaled and it's junk, and. So these are a cup holders, cup holder over there. Um, there are uh, these are uh, the, these are power windows. So I think this is the lower end model. This is the SE model um, because it doesn't have power windows. Um, there is automatic lock and unlock in the front. We do have a compartment over here, which is totally useless since it useless because um, it's supposed to go good over there. I think this is where you just put your phone. When you have the keys, the keys, um, this is the panic, um, unlock, and unlock. But what are these extra buttons over here? Well, we were supposed to just drive the Pacifica, and I think this is, I think, like the same exact kind of key, but this is where you're supposed to open the sliding doors, um, sliding doors, but there's only three buttons unlock, lock, panic. Water over there, over there, and this. I think this is a cooler. I don't know what this is. And two, uh, this is where you read the audio the radio. On most cars, this is located over here, but it's located over here for some reason. This is heated front and rear seats. And track, uh, don't know what this is. Traction control. Uh, traction control. That's what it looks like. Um, uh, so don't know what this is. Where you just put your phone over there in storage. Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. These are your ACs. Um, there's rear vents everywhere, like in Silverado I just filmed. So, the, so we're gonna check the glove box. The glove box they have very little storage, I can say. Um, there's no top glove box, which is interesting. This doesn't have leather seats. This is fabric seats because this is the lower end model. And this journey has uh, French stitching and because it's a 2020 and this is the year where the journeys end. So we're done with the front. Then we have to do we stop and get the rear seats in the back. We can stop and get up and you can uh, look, you can do the, we can film from outside. I have to get the rear seats up first. The back has plenty of cargo space and the seats fold down easily with a push. Well, I'm in the second row and um, massive salon and I think I'm feeling very stuffy. So when you try to enter the uh, third row, you have to fold the seat automatically goes in here. And I think this slides, it doesn't slide. The seats of the Dodge Journey are comfortable in the front, but I can't say the same thing about the back. In the second row, the seats were comfortable, but getting into third row was a hassle for me. But soon as I got in the third row, I didn't have lots of space in, 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 in like in the second and uh, first row. 
So the only way I could get in the third row was the seats folded down. But that journey was an impressive vehicle. As soon as we entered the back, it wasn't very impressive when we entered the third row, but the cargo space was good and the seats were really comfortable and we enjoy test driving 2018 Dodge Journey and I hope you enjoy my video.